What's up, rock stars? Welcome back. Newcomers, what's up? Welcome to the JW Show. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel as well. Definitely appreciate it. Now, on this episode here, I'm talking about friendship benefits and my experience with friendship benefits. Now, this story comes from a time when I was in between relationships and I had basically a said, screw it. Screw doing relationships and all I really want is to have sex. I don't really want to be in a relationship. That's how it was back then, a few, way back when, early 20, mid-20s at this point in my life. Now, during this time, I always want to tell people, it is really, really hard. Well, not really, but it's, it is. It's hard to get somebody to be a friend with benefits because one, from a guy's standpoint, it's easy as hell. Ladies, y'all can sit there and tell us, hey, you know, I just want to be, a, you know, fuck buddies. That's all I really want. You know, I don't want nothing serious. And we cool with it. We're like, all right, cool, bet. But if we ask y'all, it's like being interrogated by the CIA. By the CIA. And, ladies, sometimes y'all just be too too guarded. Y'all just be like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. No, I don't feel comfortable doing that. But y'all want it, though. Y'all y'all want it, but y'all be scared to go with it because y'all don't want to be thought of as hoes. And that's the same thing. But y'all y'all want to feel like y'all want to feel like oh, I got morals. You come to us say hey, y'all give it up to us. We cool with it. All right, we we cool. So it was this time when again went out, was out for drinks and whatnot, and this is actually a coworker. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, we was we was already friends, worked together, friends, and it's. When you work with somebody for a long time in the same environment, you see them for eight hours a day, every single day, you know them, you know, feelings develop and whatnot, because you, you see them when you see your real, your, basically your family. And it was one night, you know, I was like, you know what, screw it, you know, I'm going, I'm going, to, I'm going into the bar, grabbing some drinks and what after work. And this was when, you know, co-worker, said co-worker didn't have a car. And she was working late. She was like, well, hey, what are you doing? Hey, you know, where do you stay? Yada, yada, yada. You know, I was like, oh, hey, I stay in the city, such and such. Oh, okay. Well, hey, I live that way. Would you be able to take me home? I was like, uh, yeah, I mean, I was going to go to the bar after work because fuck it, you know. And mind you, this was right after I got out of a relationship and the co-worker had met my ex, well, girlfriend, but now ex. So she had met her. She knew her. And it was crazy because he was like, yeah, I was like, I ain't doing nothing. Yeah, you know, boom. So we went out and, you know, we went to the, you know, went to grab drinks or whatnot. You know, I went to, I was like, hey, yeah, you want to go to the bar, whatever. And I forgot where we went. No, it was in Royal Oak. It was in Royal Oak. Mr. B's. Mr. B. Was it Mr. B's? No, it wasn't. It was either Mr. B's or Rosie O'Grady's. Two of my former hangout spots when I used to hang out in Royal Oak and Ferndale. Um, I can't remember which one it was, but I'm pretty sure it was one of those two. But anyways, we had went there and whatnot. Went there, grabbed some drinks, and basically it was one of those things where, you know, boom, hanging out. And by this point, I had already had my own crib. So... I was like, yeah, you know, whatever, it's cool. So, you know, we we having a few drinks and whatnot, knocking them back, and you know, we just, you know, we was both, we was both drunk, and I'm on the way back. I mean, I'm driving like, hey, let me go drop you off. You know, she's like, no, you don't have to drop me off. And I was like, oh, I was like, well, and mind you, I was blind to what she was saying. I was like, oh, because in my head, I'm like, all right, the fuck you going? Because I'm I'm going home. The fuck you going? So she's like, "Well, the night's young, you know. We ain't gotta go back home." And I'm like, "Uh, first off, first off, night wasn't young. Um, you know, I had worked overtime. It was offering overtime, so I decided to stay. I was supposed to get off at seven. I was supposed to get off at like six. It's and I got off at seven. May not seem like a whole huge big deal, but mind you, I'm gonna go do what I gotta do. So." Make a long story short, you know, I was like, all right, well, sh let me just go to the crib real quick, get out these work, you know, get out these work clothes, whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. So we went to the, went back to the crib, you know, 
obviously, you know, shit happened, you know, I go to use the bathroom, bro. And, you know, we're sitting there, she's like, well, you know, and, you know, she starts, she, she, she takes control. She starts doing the thing that it is that, you know, we like. For obvious uh, censorship reasons, I'm not going to demonstrate. But you guys can pretty much know what she liked, like she was doing. So, who am I? Again, like I said the last time, who am I to stop it? I'm not going to stop you from doing it, you know, because that's rude of me. <laughs> I'm fucked up. I didn't had a few. I had a bunch of drinks. Drove. We didn't made it back to my place. I'm fucked up. Don't know how I made it back home. But again, don't condone it. Don't ever drink and drive. But anyways, I did. And who was out of who was out of stopping? You know. So we smashed. Now we smashed. So then you know, hey, after we smashed, you know, it's it's the next day because we fell asleep. It's like the next day. I wake up at like. Six in the morning, wake up, boom. And I ain't had to be to work till like about 10. So, you know, I'm like, yo, so I, she didn't wake me, mind you, she didn't wake me up. So, you know, I walk, I looked at her, I was like, yo, wake up. And she's like, what time is it? I was like, it's uh, 6 a.m. She's like, oh, shit, I gotta go, you know, go home, you know, get ready to go to work. I'm like, yeah. So <laughs> I drive her back off at her, her crib. Well, she had, and she's like, well, hey, can you just take me to work? I'm like, yeah, no problem. So she, you know, grabs her chair, changes her clothes. She hops back in the car with me. And I'm like, well, what time you got to be to work? You know, she's like, oh, well, I don't have to be to, I don't have to be to work till uh, 11, you know, because this is my late night. So I'm like, oh, all right, well, I'm about to go back to the crib then. I was just taking you home so you can find your own way back to work. You know, shit, you ain't got a car. I ain't about to take it to work. Screw that. She was like, well, can we go back to your place? And I'll just shower there and we go there. All right, cool. Again, smash. Smash in the shower, get dressed, go to work, and then boom. And that started the process of friends with benefits. And it's sad to say, having friends with benefits, it's 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 a good thing if you don't want a relationship. If you don't want the relationship, but you want to have the sexual part without the bullshit, perfect. Recommend it. Because I, I wasn't complaining. I wasn't tripping. It was one of those, hey, you ready? All right, I'll make the crib come through. All right. Or, hey, can you come pick me up? You know, I'm out with the girls having a few drinks. Hey, can I see you? All right, bet. So that was real good. I love, I, I, back then, I loved that. Because it was no strings attached. It was basically business, if you will. She drunk as hell. She called me. I hit it. Boom, I'm done. You know, if I was feeling, if I was, if I really want, if I wanted it, Boom, I called her, hey, you busy? Come through. All right. It was cool, you know? So I wouldn't trip on that. If, if that's something you cool with, by all means, do it. Enjoy it. A lot of times people be in these relate, be single, and they be saying, oh, I got needs, I got needs, but I ain't trying to just get in a relationship with anybody. Check this out. You ain't got to get in a relationship to have sex. <laughs> just throw it out. Just find you that one person who you know want to hit and that you kind of have a crush, but you don't really see a relationship like, and do it. Be a friend for benefits. Allow all that stress you're dealing with every day. Be gone. Guarantee it. <laughs> all right? Let me know what y'all think in the comments, though, about your experience with friends with benefits. How did it go? Was it good? Was it bad? Did you fuck a co-worker? I'm going to tell you my details about a different time when I almost smashed a co-worker. But that's neither here or there. Like I said, like and subscribe to this channel. Follow me over at Worlds Collide on YouTube. You already know we do a lot of crazy things with Mr. Talks. Live reaction videos as well. And until next time, later.